Hi, I'm Cody Wisner from JMP Cycles. Today I want to show you the combination saddlebag lid lock available at JMP Cycles. What's neat about this product is unlike anything else on the market, it allows you to lock the Heritage Classic as well as the Road King Classic leather saddlebags. It's nice for when you're at a big rally and you got your coat and some other things stuffed in there that you can actually lock it instead of currently where they can just pop it open and take anything you got inside of it. And you could put your own custom combination into this lock, that way it's easy for you to remember. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you how to install it. It's a simple installation. It only requires a few tools. Let's go ahead and get started on it. Now we've removed the saddlebag from a stock bike just to make it easier for us to show you. You can certainly do it right on the bike or you can take it off whatever you feel more comfortable with. Now you will be having to use the drill with your saddlebags. If you're not comfortable doing that, I highly suggest you take it to somebody else and have it done, because if you drill through your saddlebag, you have a big hole and it's not very much fun. Basically what you're doing is replacing your old rivet with a new one that has a screw on it instead of the current actually riveted together. Let's go ahead and get started. need to take the old rivet and you can use a screwdriver and just kind of pry them up out of there. Don't need to let it come all the way apart, just enough to where you can change everything. So you just open this strap up, hold it up, you still have this the way it went to go on. Get it looped all the way through. Get your rivet ready. You want to put it to where the screw is going to be on the inside so they can't just take a screwdriver and open these up. Just to drop a Loctite on there to make sure it doesn't fall off while you're going down the road. So you take your new rivet, so now we have this through this piece, we can go ahead and Stick your hand through here, you're ready to get started. And just screw it down, you don't need to tighten it up yet. Just get it snug. So there's how you install the bottom part of it. Now let's go ahead and install the top. As you can see on the bottom side of these is where the head of the rivet is that you have to remove. Really what we're gonna do is hold it in our hand, that way we can keep the back from spinning. So you just take it and drill out the head. Just go slow. You can see I was kind of pulsing it to take my time. That way as soon as it came through, I wasn't still drilling and sliding off or anything. So now the back of the rivet just pops off. So now you're ready to remove the top. Like I said before, you want to make sure you're installing it the correct way. Remove the complete old rivet. This is the current position where the saddlebag was normally latched. So what we're going to do is get another one of the long rivets and get it ready to install. So then what we got to do is lift this one up and install it also. Pull the old latch off. Make sure this one's the way we wanted it. Pull it down and through. They go here. Now we kind of press around the leather to get the rivet sticking through as much as possible. Stick the next piece on. Pull this top piece down. Now we're ready to put the screw in. Again, we want to dab a Loctite. I'm using my finger on the back side of the rivet to hold pressure against it. That way I can tighten this up. So that's how you install the top. So now you have disabled this current mechanism. That way they can't just whip it open. You've installed both pieces. I still need to go back through and tighten this one up. And again, I'll use my finger on the outside and put the screwdriver on the inside to tighten it up. As you can see, it's a fairly simple installation. Now you just need to continue it on all three of the other locks. They're exactly the same. As you can see, it's a pretty nice look. This combination saddlebag lid lock is currently available through JMP Cycles.